What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Render Aviation. Hope you're on a fantastic day today and today we have the April 2024 Orange County John Wayne Santa Ana International Airport update for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as today we have a very exciting Orange County update in store. We got some various aircraft changes, some new movements, and all kinds of fun items to dive into in today's SNA update. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for this and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start right here with this WestJet Boeing 737-800. This aircraft is currently coming in from Calgary and now it's going to be that to Vancouver so really awesome to note that WestJet is now using the Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the Orange County on both their destinations which is really cool unfortunately I do not have the model of the WestJet 737 MAX 8 so of course I have the 737-800 as the closest substitute so hopefully I'll be able to get one of those sometime I do have a pretty considerable WestJet fleet so it's not the highest on my list but if this becomes a new normal I'll definitely consider getting one so that we can make this as realistic as possible but for the moment you can see the 737-800 so that's absolutely awesome I would be in Impressed if they do can uh, go keep moving with the max for a long time, but we'll just have to see what happens. But nevertheless, an awesome way to start today's airport update. And glad to see more Boeing 737 Max is getting into the update, as we'll have more here in a moment. But unfortunately, I don't have the model of them, so we'll just have to do what we can with what we have. This Breeze Airways Airbus E22300 is currently making a non stop service today, coming in from Ogden, Utah, and now it's going to be making a non stop flight today, heading on over to uh, Provo, Utah. So, both sides of SLC, so really interesting here with Breeze in that service. So, but yeah, they're doing what they want to do with it, and I think it's treating them well. So I'm not going to complain. If it works for them, fantastic. Keep up the good work, boys. Here's this Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200. This aircraft is currently coming in from Detroit. This obviously, of course, is a five-weekly service. So it's awesome to see the uniqueness here of this route, and that's absolutely fantastic. Uniqueness isn't a word. How about unique? Uh, how unique the route is. So there we go. This Delta Airlines Airbus E22300 is pushing back with a non-stop service today coming in from Salt Lake City, Utah, and now it's going to be heading out to Seattle, Washington. So yet again, really cool to see the variety on the services. Uh, Salt Lake City, all 220s, and then MSP has been bouncing between, or sorry, that's, we're not the MSP yet, my bad. Uh, Seattle has been bouncing between the 221 and 223. So very cool to get on the 223 in this airport update. And following this, we have the Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200. Uh, this one without winglets. This one was out of the last couple updates because I had to fix it. Somehow both bogeys have broke. I thought that the one that broke uh, the first time broke again, but actually they individually broke separately, which was crazy. So I had to glue those back. So this model has been through it, but nevertheless, it's coming in right now from the Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport. So glad to see ETL continuing to do what it does best. Awesome service multiple times a day. So great job there by Delta Airlines and excited to see what happens in the future on that. And then next, you're going to find an American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This aircraft is currently coming in from Miami, and now it's going to make a flight to Chicago O'Hare. So it's been really cool to see that Miami service. I think it's been a really good one. This is a great alternative for anybody looking to go coast to coast in, uh, obviously, a easier airport to access the, this area of Los Angeles from the south side, of course. But nevertheless, it just depends on what your objectives are or if you just want to avoid LAX in general because LAX is very busy in some areas, especially that American Airlines area. Unfortunately, they facilitate one of the worst terminals at the airport, LAX that is, but hopefully uh, some renovations will be getting done at some point to help that out. Then we have this American Airlines Airbus A321, the Transcon version. This one's coming in from New York John Kennedy, of course. That's been a really cool route. Very similar concept to Miami, so good job American for facilitating planes to make that happen for all your loyal American Airlines Advantage members. And then we have this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This has the logo on the winglet. This is a Dash 800 series aircraft. This is coming in from the Austin Bertram International Airport, and now it's going to be making a non-stop flight today, heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So glad to see our Texas city is doing well. Hopefully Austin doesn't get cut one day, but I'm sure Southwest and Allegiant are having their fair share of a heyday on that. But America's just going to have to keep doing what they're doing for the moment. So that's what we got right now. And here we have this United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This has been a nice uh, new visitor here at, at, uh, for United here at the airport. As this aircraft is currently coming in from Denver, and now he's heading out to Chicago O'Hare. So glad to see United doing uh, their hubs to their fullest potential. And who knows, maybe we'll see some point-to-point -point routes from United again sometime. We had some of those during the pandemic, but unfortunately fizzled out due to logistics. And here's this Boeing 737-700 for United in the Continental Globe uh, co-merger delivery. This aircraft is currently coming in right now from Newark, and now it's going to make a flight to Houston. So awesome to see those routes continuing to go well as well. Anyways, we have the United Airlines Airbus E-18-100 in the Evo Blue delivery. I think it's a 132 to be more particular, as this aircraft is coming in right now from uh, San Francisco. So awesome to see that hub continuing to go well for United, and it's a really cool one. I got to visit their concourses uh, a few months ago, and I really thought that it was very impressive in all aspects so good job the vendor prices for food was a little high but that's every u.s airport so i won't take that against san francisco so anyways looking great though nevertheless 
Next, we have this Alaska ERJ-175. This aircraft is currently making a non-stop service today coming in from, uh, on SkyWest, of course. This aircraft making a service in from Bozeman and now it's gonna be heading out to Tucson. So really cool to see those routes going really well here and excited to see what their future is looking like here at the airport. Next, you're gonna find Alaska Airlines B737-800. This aircraft's coming in from Portland and now heading out to Seattle. So of course, the Alaska Mainline brand has really done well with these operations. So keep it up right there for our guys. Next up, we're gonna find right here, this Alaska ERJ-175 in the honoring those who serve livery. This is this aircraft's coming in right now from Seattle Everett for Horizon. This aircraft's now gonna make a service day out to, let's send them to Santa Rosa. So a big shout out to all of our uh, active personnel and obviously retired personnel, and this is what that livery is for. So very important one, and always glad to represent it uh, any time of the year, not just Veterans Day or any other applicable holiday. So that's absolutely fantastic right there. And then next, you're gonna find this Allegiant Air Airbus E320 with the fence tips. This aircraft's kind of making the flight today coming in from Provo, and now it's gonna make the flight today heading out to Idaho Falls. Some of these are seasonal, so I apologize if they're not being operated right now, so hopefully I got these right, but I continue to do my best. And Austin's the backup if that one's not available. Griswold Bears coming in on this Frontier Airbus E320. Uh, you can say it's a Neo. I really wanted to get the Air Classic South come when I was on eBay. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to do that. Anyways, this Frontier 320 is currently making a non-stop flight today coming in from Denver, and now it's gonna be going to Las Vegas. So great routes to, uh, and then complementing with their uh, newer routes in Phoenix and Dallas. So we'll see if there's some new Frontier routes at some point in the future. Just pushed back and ready to taxi out for departure to Las Vegas. This is Spirit Airlines Airbus E320. This has the IAE engines, the yellow Wi-Fi box, and the fence tips, spirit.com engines. So really cool to get this aircraft in here. One of my favorites in the fleet. So that one looks really, really great right there. So glad to see that. Our next aircraft is going to be an assortment of Southwest Airlines aircraft. This Boeing 737-700 is coming in from Puerto Vallarta and now it's heading out to Dallas Love Field. We'll follow that up with a Boeing 737 MAX 8. I like putting the NG and just, you know, throwing around with the Gemini, just balancing them out because the Gemini mold isn't as good, but it's still very good uh, compared to the NG, which has the dark colors. So balance is the best way to handle these situations uh, from my assessment. Anyways, the Southwest 737 MAX 8 is coming in right now from Austin, and now it's gonna make a flight to Nashville. So glad to see those routes going well. And here's this Boeing 737-700, as it's coming in from Phoenix, and now it's gonna be going to Las Vegas. Love that model by Panda. And lastly, we have this Boeing 737-800, as this aircraft is coming in from Phoenix, and now it's going to Denver. So glad to get the hubs uh, mentioned there. Actually, let's send in the Oakland to kind of keep the variety, because I know some of my airports overlap with those destinations. So trying to get some variety for all of you. Then we have this FedEx Airbus E300 freighter, which is coming in from Memphis, and now it's going to be making a short hop to Los Angeles for the reposition, so that's really cool. UPS Boeing 757-200, this is coming in from Portland, and now it's heading out to Louisville, so glad to see those going really well. Sorry about that abrupt camera shake. Here's the JSX Ember EJ145. This aircraft is coming in from Reno, and now it's heading back out there. And here's this Exojet so Citation X. This aircraft is going to be making a flight to Las Vegas after coming in from Portland, Oregon. Next up, we have the Salute Jet 75 heading over to Chicago O'Hare after coming in earlier from Bismarck. And next up, we have the Cessna Citation, uh, or uh, sorry, Challenger 300, wrong aircraft. I was thinking of the 300, just the wrong 300. Anyway, this aircraft is currently coming in from Austin and now it's gonna be making a flight today out to Phoenix. And lastly, we have the Cessna 172, which will make a local flight around the area here in a little bit. All right, back to our airliners. Here's this Delta Airlines Airbus E220-300. This aircraft's coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and now it's gonna be in up to Salt Lake City. So glad to see MSP there on that aircraft. And we have this Air Canada Boeing 737 MAX 8, which is currently taxiing out for departure to Vancouver. So very cool to get to see that aircraft making its rounds right there. Here is a Learjet 75. This aircraft is taxiing out for departure too. This aircraft's gonna be heading up to Salt Lake City and came in earlier today after a flight in from Seattle. So glad to see that one going really well. Two more aircraft before we finish today's airport update. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Colorado One paint scheme. This aircraft's going to Denver. It came in earlier today after a flight in from San Jose Del Cabo. So glad to see those routes going good. And lastly, we have this American Airlines Airbus E321neo, which is coming in from Charlotte and now is going to be making a flight today out to the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. So glad to see Charlotte going well, along with our Phoenix service, which has been a staple here at the airport. And yeah, just like that, everybody, that'll do for today's Orange County update. I really hope you all enjoyed this. We do have some exciting news as Breeze does have some movements, including brand new service to Tampa starting next month, and then the resumptions of Orlando and Columbus for the summer season. So excited for those. 
So that's absolutely awesome. Otherwise, I believe we're fairly neutral, but again, I'm recording this in advance, so there's a very good chance that a new route announcement has came out since, so feel free to comment about it if you'd like. I also didn't get a chance to mention, uh, since I was in my groove, that Alaska Airlines has started flying the Boeing 737 MAX 8 here this month, if all went according to plan with the uh, authorization into the fleet and all that, which hopefully it did, so yay to that. Unfortunately, I do not have a model at this time. Hopefully one has got announced when this video is coming out, so hopefully in the near future, we'll get to represent the Boeing 737 MAX 8 here for Chester at SNA. Uh, and again, on WestJet, hopefully I can find one sometime or maybe a re-release or the equivalent. So excited and looking forward to getting more 737 MAXs here in the update. As it's certainly a cool airport as we already have the American and United one and the Air Canada as well, and obviously Southwest. So it seems like all of these airlines are flying the 737 MAX here, which is pretty smart due to the shorter runway and definitely excited to see what we can do with that in the near future. So with that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Treasure of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love what you do? My name is Treasure of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Treasure of Aviation is signing off.